Hey, hey, it's Berta J. And you're back in my kitchen and we're gonna talk about whisks today. This is another installment in the series that, we, that I've started on kitchen essentials. Now, what I want you to know is that I have found out that there are many types of whisks. There are dough whisks, spiral whisks, ball whisk, flat whisks, whisks that are called kettle or twirl. There are nylon whisks, wooden whisks, as well as bamboo whisks. We're not gonna talk about any of those today. I have come up with the ones that are essential for you, and it's only two of them. If you have one or the other, and if you have both, you're doing a good job. The first one, I'm sure you have seen everywhere. It's called a balloon whisk. Why? Because of its shape. It reminds you of a hot air balloon. It's also been called a piano whisk because the wires look and remind you of piano wires, okay? This whisk comes in different sizes. I have this one and I have this one. They're almost the same, but one is a little bit shorter than the other. I use them both. These are a definite essential. Buy just one. All whisks are used for all around blending, whipping, and beating. That's what they're used for. They bring air into whatever mixture you have. Now these particularly work best, something that's watery, to something that's sort of a medium thick dough or batter. And it will bring that air into it. And it's best if it's used with round-sided bowls. And a round-sided bowl, you probably say, what is a round-sided bowl? Well, it would be something like this one. It has a rounded side. And it will fit right in there and you can just whip really well, okay? Now that's the balloon, put these here. Now, there's another way you can get a, a balloon whisk, and that is, it's an attachment to the average stand mixer. It just comes with the mixer. You don't have as many wires, if you notice, but it doesn't need as many wires because it moves so fast. You can't whip as fast as this can go. I wanted to just mention one last thing, is that you, you use it for like sauces. This is good for sauces, egg whites, and for any, like I said, any light to medium mixture that you are, are trying to mix together. The second one is, is called a French whisk. So you have those and you have these. We have a French whisk. You see the different, they come in different sizes. There are, I'm told, as I did my research, you can get, you can get this French whisk as long as 12 inches because the longer it is, the skinnier it is. You see how it starts skinny and it stays pretty straight? It's best if you use it in a straight bowl because it'll pick up the things that are on the sides. Now, what is a straight bowl? It would be this one because you, you tilt it. You usually tilt when you're using a whisk and you go around and you lift, around and lift to blend. And this is a different size. Now, this one's kind of high to use a small one like this, but you could if you only had a little bit of, of uh, mixture in here. So these two are called French. And they have, their wires are supposed to be stiffer. Yeah, they're pretty stiff. And it's called French. Why is it called French? French cooking has a lot of creams and sauces in them. And these long, skinny, whisks are best used for them. So that's why it's called a, a French whisk. So my belief is, and that's why I'm sharing this with you, is you get a one size of this, and then as you grow in your cooking, you could get several sizes if you want, but at least a, a French whisk, or you could get a balloon whisk, and you would be all set. All those others I talked about at the beginning, you don't need all those. An essential is one of these or both. Okay, so that's it. See if you can see the number of times that I use in the next few weeks um, a whisk and things because I have a lot of things that I like to whisk together. But you'll see, they're very, very useful, very, very handy. And so I really recommend that you go out and at least get one, whether it's a French or whether it's a balloon, get one or the other, okay? This is the end of what I wanted to share on whisks for this installment 
of Kitchen Essentials. And I hope this has helped you. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the, the notification bell so that every time a new video of mine is uploaded, you will get it, the notice. And so until next time, bye for now.